that I wanted to bring out about God calling or about devotional was that being when you don't feel good, when you don't feel like you're wanting to read your devotionals or study your Bible or say it was a Sunday and you didn't want to go to church, you know, lots of things come up that we don't feel like doing. There are times where we don't have the emotion, but we have the devotion to continue doing and move on with what God is accomplishing in our lives. Because, you see, it's not always about feelings. Sometimes it's about faith. And the faith that you exercise is that which is to go on when you don't have the feelings. When you don't have this, ooh, ah, uh, wow, or walk around like a wowser, you know, constantly looking like you've got a grin painted from ear to ear. Although, I have to admit, there are times where I look like that. And I probably could think about it and get that way or put on praise music. But the point is, is that reality for most people is you don't always feel up. And God created us with emotion so you can feel down. There are times to allow God to be God and to rule your emotions as well as your devotion. So don't beat yourself up if at some point in time you don't feel like a devotion or you don't feel like, you know, talking to God. God's still there. He's still walking with you. He still cares. He still loves you. Sometimes people get a little silly on some of the things that they think they have to do. When God just says, just be you, and I am me, which means that he is God, and you are not. In God Calling, seek me early, walk in my way, and trust me. No evil can touch you. I am yours as truly as you are mine. Rest in that truth. Rest, that is, cease all struggle. Gain a calm, strong confidence in that certainty. Do not only rest in me when the world's struggles prove too much and too many for you to bear or face alone. Rest in me when you need perfect understanding, when you need the consciousness of a tender, loving friendship and intercourse. The world, my poor world, flies to me when its difficulties are too great to be surmounted any other way forgetting or never realizing that if, with the same eagerness, those hearts sought me merely for companionship and loving intercourse, many of the difficulties would not arise. The circumstances, the life, the character would be so altered, so purified, that those same difficulties would not exist. Seek me early, and that is the way to find me, early before I get crowded out by life's troubles, difficulties, and pleasures. You know, I think that if we just learn to fail, we'll learn to succeed. <laughs> if we just learn how to blow it, we learn how not to blow it. <laughs> if you learn how to stumble and fall, you don't get hurt as bad <laughs> as if you had never stumbled at all. Because there's so many righteous people that you know, God bless them and they go on their way and they tell you about how perfect their life is and how perfect God wants it to be and how perfect perfect is. And <laughs> God bless them. You know, but if you're like most of the rest of humanity, you're going to fail and fall down. The Bible teaches us that a righteous man falls down seven times and rises up again. When asked how often should we forgive our brethren, and this was talking about relationships between brethren. They asked Jesus and he said, you know, well, seven times? And the Lord said, no, 70 times seven. You know, 490 just happens to be the number of judgment, by the way. Uh, I don't know if anybody picked up on that, but if he meant just any number, he would have said, as often as he needs it. <laughs> but in one day, if somebody was just irritable enough that they caused you such frustration 490 times in one day, <laughs> I begin to think that maybe God's going to intervene in that case. So maybe 490 years, as that's a number of judgment on some things, is something that you might consider to play with later with the Lord. But the point being is that sometimes you just don't feel like a nut. You don't feel like you're happy. You don't feel like you're joyful. 
you don't feel like you want to be what God's making you to be. And in those times, I think God is saying and God calling to you and me, rest. Just rest. Just take it easy. Relax. Give yourself a break. Leave it to God. You don't have to make it all work out. God's doing a pretty good job of running the universe. I think he can take care of you too. Think about that today as you rest in him. Thank you.